All right, give us a minute. We're just preparing to go live, uh, just setting up all the technical end. Yeah, nice to see you. Hi, I'm Glennie D, and I have the lovely Miss B here. Miss B, how are you getting on after last week? We did a tutorial with the chocolates. You ate all the resources. I ate a lot of chocolate. (laughs) I ate a lot of chocolate. So we're just jumping in now live. Uh, There are no chocolates this week, so I'm a bit sad about that. But um, I am excited about looking at these birdhouse roof tiles. So I just want to let everyone know that we have an amazing uh, teacher, an early adopter, Tony Doyle. A big shout out to you and your students in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, You recently contacted us about this really unique uh, birdhouse design. Mm. And they're using them in Turkey to encourage birds back into urban areas. As we know, so much wildlife is displaced um, within our communities. And it's a really important design problem that we need to solve and to make sure that we're um, creating beautiful environments for all our creatures, um, not just the big humans. So we're going to have a look at drawing this today. There is a freebie download that goes along with this. So um, we'll be drawing a very simplified version today that your students can work on on a blank piece of paper or a download. So I'm just going to go through here. Um, And this is what it looks like. We also have a more complicated version um, that is a guided drawing sheet step by step that will allow you to add a little bit of extra detail. So I'm just messing up Glenny D's notes here. Sorry, Glenny D. Um, Uh, And I will um, put them all back now. I really like this cute one, how you've done a sectional drawing. So I'm excited about this video. I've done enough talking. So good to see you all today. I'm going to leave it in your capable hands. Thank you. Okay, so thanks, Miss B. All right, guys, we're going to jump into this. We have a great drawing here. Thanks, Tony. Um, So this is what the drawing will look like. This is the simple version. Or Let me just cover this for you. That's what the simple version would look like. It would just be on a basic tile, yeah, like a terracotta tile, cement tile. And if you want to do the complicated version, there's a few more steps, and it gives the tile some thickness. So we'll be drawing the simple version today. Steps one, two, three, jump to 10. If you want to do the challenging, then steps one all the way through to 14. Just so you know what we're looking at, this is a roofing tile. And um, in Turkey, they are manufacturing these all in one piece. So it has a little bird nesting box, a resting place. And this is a little stick uh, that is put in here. So this is a terracotta tile. In Australia, we make our tiles generally out of cement uh, or concrete. So this hole, I guess, would need to be adjusted, Miss B, to fit the species of the bird and all that kind of thing. Oh, yeah, we don't want a predator to be able to get in there. And we also don't want it to become a swimming pool. So there are some really interesting factors that we need to consider uh, when designing these gorgeous little habitats. Mm, Great Um, solution because uh, we already have the roofs there. Why not um, make it? suitable for some species as well yeah i love the beehives too that live on roofs so there's lots yeah. of different things and we will be focusing on that over the next few weeks in our blog yeah. uh, so make sure that you um yeah you tune in and have a look at those resources if you're interested in designing for animal habitats and we, we, right, we all do i'm out of here folks have a great Thanks session okay Thanks bye everyone see you next week all right let's let's go so here's the steps that we'll be looking at one, two, and three. We'll be drawing a rectangle and then we'll be adding this little bump in the middle. And then we're jumping down here. We'll be drawing to step 10 and we're drawing the birdhouse. All right, let's get crack a lacking. So step one, we're going to need a splat. We could draw this without a splat, but it's it's this worksheet, if you print it off, is designed with that starting point to match exactly the splat. So you'll notice I've got a line out this way. If you didn't have the sheet, then let's just start with here and we'll go one and a half out this side. And in this direction, this isometric direction, we'll go one, two, round about two splat lengths. So two SL, you'll see on the instructions, means two splat lengths. Cool. Uh, and then we're going to switch this upside down. And from this point, let's go one, two splats out here. And just checking from here, it should be one and a half. So this line and this line are copies, this line and this line are copies. 
Okay, now I'm just going to freehand that really quickly today. You guys could use a ruler if you wanted to get it nice and neat. Uh, now, the next step is to I'll find this line and divide it into three. So we've got two marks, and in between here, let's draw a semicircle, something like that. Let's do the same thing at the back, semicircle. Cool. Now we're going to connect these two points here and here and connect these two. Now you can see there is our tile, including the little bump. So this is the simple version, remember. Let's get started on the actual uh, nesting box or birdhouse. Uh, we're going to pick the starting point of where we want our birdhouse. I'm going to start mine about here. I guess it's about a quarter of the way back. Now, holding the splat straight up and down on that point, we're going to sketch just a light line across here. And I'm going to come a little bit this way and a little bit this way. That's how wide the front of the birdhouse will be. It doesn't need to be the whole width. You could bring it in a little narrower if you want. Okay, so there's my starting point. I'm going to draw that and draw that. And then I'm going just like that bump there, you come up and over. So that's where my birdhouse sits on top. Now, let's go back onto this point here. I'm going to draw one splat length all the way up here. And from this point, let's go one splat length all the way up to this little bump like that. And I'm going to actually fill in the top there as well. So that's the front of the birdhouse. Now, let's give it a roof. So we will go, say, halfway along here. Let's come up a you know, steep roof or a low roof, then draw in, draw that in. Okay, cool. Now we are going to uh, give it some depth. So I'm going to go back to this original point that I used, and I'm going to go one splat length all the way back. I'm going to do the same thing from another point. Find this point on your drawing. Place your splat and come back. One more point to go. Find this one on your drawing and come. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to follow the instructions exactly. I got carried away a little bit. Normally, when we're drawing isometric drawings, we draw it like that, but it doesn't look like it's sloping so much. So I'm putting in a little hack here. What I'm going to do is from this point. And this point, we're going to draw not an isometric line, we're going to draw flat. So let's draw a light line there. And from this point here, let's draw a light line. Now watch and see what that does for us. The back of the, remember we came back one splat length. Now I'm going to come up until it hits that guideline. Let's darken that in. So that's the first line. Now, this roof, what I've got to do is copy this line, copy the angle of that line, except I'm going to start there. So let's put the ruler on there and take it across to there and repeat that line. Great. Now I can draw in the top and we're almost there. There's a few lines that will probably erase before I go too much further. You can see all these ones on the side here. So let me just erase those quickly. I'm just going to do a fairly rough job for you today. I'm sure you'll take a little bit more care when you're doing this. Probably don't need that one there. So there, let me just round these corners off. If it's made out of concrete, probably have slightly rounded corners anyway. So you can see my outline there. Now, where do the birds hop in? Let's go, yeah, let's use this little ellipse. I'm going to turn it so it's pretty much straight up and down. I'm going to pick that point there in the middle. And that's where they're going to hop in. I'm going to slide it along, give it some thickness there. Let's make it look a little darker inside. All right, now we need the little uh, the, the landing perch. So we'll do the same thing as that, but on a smaller version there. Let's come straight out here and draw that. Okay, let's just darken that bit in. Uh, so what I would probably do now is to go around my outline. Remember we talked about a cutting line? So that is my, oh, here's the rule there. Uh, there is my basic 
bird tile house. Cool. Uh, thanks for thanks for joining in on that. If you would like to see what the um, the longer version looks like, then let me show you on here. Once you've got the basic one drawn, what I'm really doing is finding halfway between here and here. We drew a little line up from each corner and then we did something like that. Then we joined that and we and then this line here is the top and we added some thickness all the way bottom around the bottom like that. So that shape, if you're looking from the front, is called the profile. And it's a very common profile on Australian roofs. Not sure about where you live. Maybe you have corrugated iron on your roof. Maybe you have straw. I don't know. Um, but the idea is to try and design a habitat that will suit your local conditions and the common type of roofing where you live. All right. So thank you so much for joining in. Uh, I've really enjoyed drawing along with you today. Send in some examples if you like. We love when teachers email students email some of their work. So I'm Glenny D and I will sign off now. I'm going to ask um, Miss B, should be, there she is. Hello, oh. we're, we're all finished. Um, How'd it go? Oh, it looks gorgeous. Yeah, great. Yeah. Th this one's a very special, it's, it's um, the species, so I'm going to call it a purple-headed, purple-bodied, purple-tailed migratory bird from Turkey. Awesome. Yeah, I love those birds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fantastic. Now, um, the download is available from our website, splat3d.com, and I'll also add a link in the comments now once we jump off being live. Have a great week, everyone. Keep an eye out for our blog. And um, remember, if you have a request, uh, send it in to us. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. All right, bye for now. Bye. Happy designing.